to my kitchen, everybody. Another Cooking with Carrie episode. Thanks for joining me tonight uh, at 8.30. I'm so glad that you are here. We're making apple crisp. We're making healthy apple crisp. So two things tonight. Um, I've worked with thousands of people over the years, and working with thousands of people, I've come to know that there's one thing that stops you from losing the weight you want to lose. Are you ready to hear it? Because I'm going to tell you. All right, guys. So we are going to make a healthy apple crisp, but I'm going to tell you the one thing that is stopping you from fat loss is that you are jumping on and off all sorts of diet plans and you are not sticking to them. You are picking and choosing the elements of those plans that you want to follow because you have done all the diets, you have done everything all these years, and you are picking and choosing the things that you want to do or the elements of those meal plans or exercise plans that you think are going to work best or that you like, and you kind of push the things that you don't like to the side. Okay, so I am Dr. Carrie Burroughs. Thank you for joining me tonight in my kitchen. We are doing a Cooking with Carrie episode. Tonight we are making a couple of versions of a healthy apple crisp. I am all about eating real food and not feeling deprived when you are on a health plan. So apples are great. We're going to use some oats. We're going to have some protein. We are not doing any deprivation. I used to be well over 225 pounds. I lost 100 pounds. It took me a year. I jacked back up uh, once I got pregnant. And then I got pregnant with twins, so I went well over. So I've lost 100 pounds twice. That is my story. Um, we are going to get started. If you have questions during the broadcast, I have one of my lovely twins here ready to ask me those questions. So please ask questions as they come up. I am going to post the recipe later on. I'm only going to make three just for tonight, just for time, but you can double up, triple up this recipe. So why mason jars? This is key. I want you to listen up. Why mason jars? Because this is portion controlled. And I'm an eater. I didn't get to 225 because I didn't like to eat. I got to 225 pounds because I like to eat. I still like to eat. So mason jars, portion controls it for me, okay? So when you make a big batch or a pan of apple crisp this time of year, you're going in with a spoon about this size. And you're getting in there and you're shoveling a plateful or a bowlful or whatever else. And then you're going to top it with ice cream or whipped cream or whatever else. You have got 1,000 calories. Easy peasy. So we're going to show some healthy hacks to get around all of this. And this is your go-to now for their breakfast, for whatever. But this is what we've got. Mason jars is going to control our portions. All right, so in my bowl here, I've got three apples. I used uh, one Granny Smith and two Macintosh apples. I like tart apples for this because it kind of offsets everything. It's a bit of a harder apple, so it's not going to get soggy and mushy so that you're not eating applesauce um, when you go to have your apple crisp. So I did give it a spritz of lemon so we wouldn't have brown apples for this. So three apples are in here, and I just chopped them up. That's it. Easy peasy. So I'm going to drop some serious bombs on you guys because these are game changers. If you are one of my fit friends, you know about this already, and this is a game changer. So to this, I'm going to add butter extract. That's right, butter extract, because we don't need to eat, add a ton of butter or oils or things like that. So I have butter extract. There's no calories. There's no nothing. If you have vanilla extract, add that. But I'm telling you, this is $1.99, and it is a great investment, so go get some. So I'm going to do about five caps full. You can add more. You can taste this as you go, because there's nothing that's going to set you off. So I'm going to do about five caps, because we've got such a big bowl. Um, two, three. My fit friends know I'm not so good with the math. Four, five. OK. Cinnamon's going in next. Doesn't have to go in any particular order. Lots of cinnamon. Cinnamon is great for your blood sugar. It's great to stabilize things. It's going to give that taste of fall. OK, so mix it. Let me know if you have questions. This is easy peasy. You can whip this off in no time. If you have kids, get them involved in cooking these healthy meals. Explain what you're doing. Explain all of this. Teach them so that when they get older, they're independent. They're not struggling with a thing, and they, have, and they only microwave things. OK. So I'm going to add a little bit more cinnamon because it's my jam. OK. Cinnamon is going in. That smells fabulous. OK. So this is where it gets a little controversial. I like Splenda. So I'm going to use Splenda brown sugar, which is less calories, the whole nine yards. 
They happen to have Splenda brown sugar. I also have plain white Splenda. That's what I like. If you don't like that, don't use that. Use stevia or whatever else. I also have the coconut palm sugar. Use that. But here's the thing. You don't need 50 tablespoons of this. This is sugar already, OK? Apple is sugar. Yes, there's fiber, but there's sugar. OK, question? Can you find better extracts in a grocery store? Or yes. Is at a grocery store? I got this at Walmart. My Canadian friends, I'm sure the bulk barn has this, if not the Canadian superstore. This is grocery store, 100%. I got this at Walmart, and I think Publix for sure has it. Easy peasy. OK, so I'm using Splenda, because that's what I like, and that's what I have. Yep? Would the apple pie spice work too? Yes, apple pie spice. Yes, 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 yes. I'm going to use a teaspoon. I'm going in with two teaspoons. Two teaspoons, that's it. That is it. That's all the sugar we need. We don't need anything else. This is already sugar, people. You don't need to make it gooey and sick sweet. You want to actually taste like it tastes like apples. All right? So that is it for that, right? Easy peasy. There's nothing here. Nothing complicated here. Nothing complicated. I'm going to go a little bit further. OK, you ready? We're going some protein in here. Protein is going in. So I used two teaspoons of sugar in this big batch. So I'm going to add to this half a scoop of protein powder. So this will thicken it like you would, because in a traditional apple crisp, you'd add some flour to help it thicken. Not only is it going to thicken it, it's going to sweeten it with no sugar. So we're good. Sweeten it and make it lovely and give us protein. So it is a balanced meal. It's not going to dump in our system. Our blood sugar is not going to skyrocket. OK. All right, all right. So we are mixing. That is done. That is done. Take your jars. I'm going to show you a couple variations. I'm going to scoop this in. Leroy Jenkins is here, everybody. Say hello to Leroy Jenkins. OK, you guys, if you want me to keep going, you got to share. You got to give me some heart and love. Give me some questions. So this is going to go in. I'm going to make two of these. I'm going to show a different option as well. All right, I'm going to give some hellos to my friends who are here. Romina, Christy, Deanna, Alana, Patty, Carrie, Brooke, Karen. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really, really appreciate you being here with me. All right. Yes, Brooke. Patty said, what are the organic brown cane sugar? Cane sugar? Uh, no. You don't need it. Like, you honestly don't need it. The apples are enough. Um, if you have your own time, you don't really need honestly let the apple do it. Let it go to work. Okay. So another thing I want to say, once this cooks down, it's going to shrink. So we kind of want to jam it. We want to pack this sucker full and get it all in there. Jam it in because it's going to shrink and you want the full jar. So whatever you got to do to get it all stuffed up in there, let's do that. Okay. I'm going to put this to the side. We're making two variations of our crumble. Put this over here. Variation number one is for my fast and furious friends that have no time to mess around with anything. Question. Amy said, any kind of sugar free sweetener, how about coconut sugar or black sugar? Yeah. Coconut sugar is good. Uh, if you'd like stevia, use that. Really read your labels, you guys, because this is a coconut sugar is a low glycemic, but it's still is coming in at four grams, okay? So you don't need that much at all, okay? So we're going to make our crisp or our crumble, whatever you want to call it. We're making sure. So my fast and furious friends that don't want to be in the kitchen a long time, right here. Oat fit, you can get this at every grocery store. One, pa you guys know I love this stuff. One package is 100 calories, 18 grams of carbohydrates, three grams of fiber, only a gram of sugar, and three grams of protein. I'm going to use the whole thing and dump it in here. So it's already flavored. I don't have to do anything else. I'm going to give it a little bit of cinnamon in here because it's already flavored. We don't have to do anything else to it. It's already good. I like cinnamon, so I'm going to hit it with a little bit more. OK? So we want it to taste buttery. So let's go give it some butter, OK? So butter extract is going in. Let's go for three caps. 
Now, a lot of recipes will call for maple syrup, agave, honey, whatever else. I'm going to do one very small capful of maple extract just to give it that mapley flavor. Totally an option. You don't have to do that, okay? Because it can overpower it. I would rather mine taste like oats and butter and such, okay? There you go. It was literally drops. Awesome. Okay. So one package of our oat fit oatmeal. So if you don't have oat fit, Quaker has a low sugar oatmeal. You can use this smells. So good. It smells so buttery. I can't even right now. Okay. Question? What is the measurement of a mason jar? Eight ounces. And can you use natural honey as a thing? No. <laughs> no. Bring your options. Splenda, stevia, a little bit of the coconut, palm sugar. But I would rather you use protein powder. That's all you need. Don't get all crazy with this, you guys. What happens is your insulin spikes. You're going to put all this sugar in that you don't need. Apples are sugar. Sugar already. Okay? This is sugar. A whole jar of sugar. Yes, there's fiber, but we took the peel off. So we're losing some fiber. This is sugar. You don't need to put more sugar. Taste the apple. Taste the flavor. Taste the rainbow. So don't get all caught up on this sugar. I'm telling you, once you clean your palate of coating it with all of this sugar and crap, you won't want it. And when you taste something that has honey, agave, or whatever else, you're like, ah, it's so sweet. Well, I don't want it. Okay, so one package of the oatmeal that is already sweetened. This little brown sugar, we're fine. I put in some butter extract because I like the taste of butter, and I don't want those calories. But I am going to use some butter. I'm going to use Kerrygold butter. This is the only dairy product that I actually use is grass-fed and we're not going to use a lot. I'm going to use about a teaspoon, but that will go for two mason jars. Okay, question? Where do you get the oat Pardon me? Oat, oat, fit? oat Fit? I got the Oat Fit at Target. Yeah. And uh, can you use Oat Bran? You sure can use Oat Bran. And that's what we're going to make in our second crisp is the Oat Bran. I love Oat Bran because it has fiber, it has protein. Okay, so we've got one teaspoon of butter going into our crumble right here, and just mash it up, fork it up. You know what crumble should look like, right? It should be crumbly. All right, I'll, that's all I'm doing. I'm doing two versions of the crumble so we can have some options. So the other option is going to use coconut oil um, as your fat. Okay, questions as I'm mixing. Um, somebody said, I missed the first part. Can you put on YouTube? I'm going to post, yes, I'm going to post. I'll post the recipe, everything later in the comments, and I'll put links to all of the products that I use so that you can get it. But always refer back to the recipe section at carryburrows.com and click the recipe, and everything will be there listed out for you so that you don't have to do any hunting around or looking for anything. But I'll be super detailed on everything that I've used. Okay, keep giving me some questions, people. Okay, so it's crumbly. Yes, we can all agree. We got some chunks. It was one teaspoon of butter, people. That's all you need. That's all you need. So I'm going to take my the one that's more full, okay? And let's just put a little bit more out. Let's just pack this sucker right up. I'm going to pack it up because it is going to shrink. It's going to cook down. So don't worry. It's not going to bubble over or anything. So I'm going to pack it. Give me the crumble on top. So that one packet of oatmeal, which is fast and furious, I just need a quick fix, or you only live with some other person, you don't have to feed a family of five, and you don't need this for days and days and days, this is perfect for you. Okay, done. I'm done. I'm totally done. This is going in the oven, and it's going to go, depending on your oven and where you are, 25 minutes. Good? I'm not done with this, though. I'm going to take this one. I only filled it halfway. I'll use my fork here. Here's the thing. With these, it's like a cupcake. I'm going to, a little story here. Cupcakes are a little bit of a letdown for me because once you eat the top, the muffin top, then you're left with that, the nub, and there's no icing. It's kind of like, wah, wah, there's no icing, unless you rip the bottom off and make a cupcake sandwich. That's a lot of work and a lot of mess. So what we're going to do, we did half the jar of apple. Now we're going to go in layers. What? We are layering it, okay? So we're going to put a layer of crumble in the middle. So when you go in, you're not having crumble fall off. You're not doing anything like that. You're going to go in, and it's an evenly distributed 
spoonful. So it's lovely. Okay. Questions while I'm scooping? It's not. No. It's under 100 cal. It's about 100 calories for a mason jar. Okay. So apple, oats, apple. Got it? Apple, oats, apple. We got the layering going on here. I'm going to finish up this oats situation and I'm going to top it with the crumble. This is just to make it a little bit different so that you're not all apple on the top, or sorry, all crumble on the top. Done. So layered apple crisp. Layered. Yes. Okay? Thumbs up. Give me some hearts. You want me to keep going? I got another one. Okay. Is that the question? Okay. So that's going in the oven. All right. Let's clear this out of the way. This is done. This is done. Okay. My friends that want to be a little bit extra, I got you. I got you, boo. I got you. Okay. So we're going to go a little bit more traditional with our crumble. Apples are going to stay the same. It's, we've got our batch ready to go. So oatmeal is great. I'm going to do a combination of oatmeal and oat bran. Again, why I love the oat bran, there's protein in here. It has a little bit more fiber than oatmeal, and it just gives it a little bit more texture. So I'm going to do a little bit of a combination of oats and oat bran. Again, I'll list all of it, but this just gives you an option. I just love this because it's just extra, as opposed to just the oatmeal, which is, I think it's 27 grams of carbohydrates in a half cup. So this is just finer. If you can see, I'm not sure if you can see, you probably can't. It's just finer, but it has a nice texture. Okay? That's it. I'm going to just mix that. Now, you want to get super fancy? Let's get super fancy, shall we? Hemp seeds. So this is going to give it a little bit more omegas, a little bit of protein, extra fiber. Right? My super healthy fit friends, and you want to go a little bit further with this, hemp seeds are going in. This is going to give it a nice bit of bite and just power pack it. Hemp seeds. You can get this at any grocery store, Costco, everywhere has hemp seeds. We're going to go next level, friends. Chia seeds are going in. Chia seeds are going into our crumble. Okay. And we don't need a lot. We just need a little bit because they're going to swell up and take some of that liquid. All right, we are going to use coconut oil as opposed to the butter on this one. Same kind of measurements. We're just going to use a teaspoon. I'll just get this all mixed in nice. All right, I'm going to get my spoon here. All right, full teaspoon is going in. I'm going to mix it and incorporate it. I'm going to put some cinnamon because we need flavor on this one. This one isn't flavored, so we're going to flavor this one up. Cinnamon's going in. I'm going to put probably protein to sweeten it so I don't have to do sugar because we have a jar of sugar already. All right, got our crumble here. This is looking great. This is just so much fiber, antioxidants, protein. Good. Let's get some protein in here. Okay, guys, any questions while I'm mixing? Give me some mixing questions. Share. Are we sharing this to other fit friends? Awesome. Thanks, guys, for sharing. Thanks for being here with me. I really appreciate it. All right. So that's our sweetener. I'm not going with Splenda or Stevia or anything like that. I'm using protein powder so that I can get a better balance going. Okay. And we've got to go for some butter extract because it's butter extract. Good stuff. I'm going to go three caps again. All right, guys, are we back? Did What happened? Facebook was not down with the healthy living. What was help happening? Did the trolls get us? What was going on? OK, so all I did was I topped with our chia, our hemp, our oats, our oat bran. We just made this, this one a little extra extra. If you have it, great. Use it. Why not? So I'm going to overfill it because, again, it's going to cook down. And we're fine. It's not going to make a mess. I have a tray already in the oven, so if there is any spillage, it's going to go on the tray. But it's going to cook down, so we're not going to have to worry about anything pouring over. Okay? All right. So we're going to taste test. I'm not going to let you down. I already, we're good. We're good. I got gotcha. you. 
I gotcha. All right. All right, guys, we are going to go in for the taste. I made this a little bit earlier. Everything I used, everything over here, used. Got it? So what's good is that when it does shrink down, you have some leverage to get in there and scoop it. OK? This is it. Can we see it? Can you see it? So good. Again, you don't need sugar. You don't need to jack this up with anything. I really want you to try it. I know it's a little bit of extra work to put it in the mason jars, but I'm telling you, it will pay off when you have portion controlled this out as opposed to heaping plateful. I'm telling you. Okay, I'm going to try it. Mm -hmm. It is so good. Come on now. You guys, who doesn't love apple crisp, right? It's fall, y'all. This is great. I love it. You cannot go wrong with this. Okay, so I want to go over a couple things before we wrap this up. If you have questions, let me know. I've got the twins on duty reading questions for me. But these small changes in your life lead to bigger things. If you're not willing to do some of these things, you'll never get to where you are. And the thing is that you can't look at things with, oh, I'm deprived of this, or you keep jumping on program after program or new fad diet after new fad diet because so-and-so, your neighbor down the street did it, or whatever else. You are unique, your metabolism is unique, and your personality is unique. So what works for some might not work for you. But the thing is to be consistent. I know we all want to start a plan, get on the scale, and be down 20 pounds in the first week. And we know it's not realistic, but we all have that expectation, and we drive ourselves crazy. But the thing is that you have done years and years and years of abuse. And by abuse, I mean eating junk. So all of that going on internally, not only does it age you, it shortens your life, and it causes a lot of wear and tear. So to reverse that, you have to do the work. There are no shortcuts. I wish, I, I honestly, I wish I had that magic bullet for you, and I wish I could pixie dust and change things for you like this. But the reality is, and I know this like I know, like I know, like I know, you can't change unless you do the work. So whatever system you've heard of, or magic drink, or potion, or some crazy lotion, or pill, that will never be a solution, 100%. And you know that. Everyone knows that, but you still buy into that hype. And I really want you to stop. We can eat real food. If you are part of my Breakthrough Academy, can I get an amen, or can I get some hearts? Because the thing is that I like to eat. I don't want to be deprived. We have burgers. We have apple crisp. We have protein bars, we have cookies and energy balls and things like that. We have real food. But it's not food that you have to go to Whole Foods and drop $500. This is regular grocery store. I made this plan that would work for me. I have three kids. I work full time. I have a crazy schedule. I made my Breakthrough Academy so that it is realistic. But if you don't do the work, you will never get the results. 100%, you won't get the results. And I want you to know that you have to, you have to do something. You know? And if it's starting with just following our meal plan, do that. If you're not ready to get the exercise going, then start with the meal plan. And then build up your strength to do the exercise. But you can't have one without the other. You can't diet. You can't out-train a bad diet. So if you think that you can go and CrossFit or run 75 miles and eat pizza and drink milkshakes and whatever else and think you'll have your dream body, that's that's dreamland. That's not even going to happen. You cannot physiologically out-train a bad diet. Unless you have nothing to do and no job and no financial responsibilities that you can train 12 or 15 hours a day to get to that level, forget it. But if you balance real food with the right functional workouts, you can get a bunch of people, hundreds of people that have gone through it, thousands of people over 20 years. I know I know who you are, you know? I know if you are the Monday to Friday, I'm gonna eat a salad and then go nutso on the weekend. I know if you are the, I'm gonna hop on, oh, I did Weight Watchers 20 years ago, it worked for me then. Oh, now I'm gonna do this plan, and now like if you're on and off the new diet roller coaster, I know who you are. I know every diet personality type there is. I have met you all, trust me. And the thing is that you just haven't had a solid plan to follow. My ulterior motive in all of this is to get you healthy. 
I want you to never need me again. That is my goal, 100%. I never want you to need me again. I want to teach you everything that I possibly can so that you get to your goal and that you know how to reel yourself back in. You know those healthy habits. You know how to make these things and you teach your family. Because I will tell you this, when I was 225 pounds as a teenager, I was miserable. And if anyone tells you different, they're lying because they have convinced themselves otherwise, 100%. They have convinced themselves that it's okay. It's not okay. No way is it okay. I was sad and miserable and there was, I was, I was dark. I went dark, everyone. And it took a full year to lose 100 pounds. But I had to do the work. I had to do it and I had no idea. You know, this is a plan you can follow. This is real. But I will tell you this, if you are a parent or if you're an aunt or you have someone in your life and they're young and they are struggling with the weight and you're not doing anything to help them, I have to say this, shame on you. Shame on you. Because how you feel when you go through your closet and nothing fits, or how you feel when you go shopping and you get upset and you try something on, how do they feel? It's exactly the same. And you're continuing this cycle for them. You know, as a mom, I would never want to put my girls or my son through what I had to go through as a teenager. I'm telling you, I was I was miserable. Miserable. And bless my mother's heart for putting up with me, honestly. But if you can do something for you right now, and I know as busy people, you are always low on the totem pole, but you can't pour from an empty cup. I've said that a hundred times. If you don't take care of yourself at some point, there won't be anything left. And when you lose your health, you lose your health, you lose your independence. So you can't walk, you can't do those things that you used to do, or you can't drive, then what? Then you become a burden, unfortunately. Your family won't say that, and you don't want to feel like that. But it's a burden because they have to do extra work because you just didn't care enough to take care of your health. And I say this with love, but this is tough love. This is more than fitting into size six pants, and this is more than whatever else. This is the big picture, my friends. This is the big picture. And I want you to think of this, that you can do these things. You know, have eggs for breakfast. We're having omelets, or we're having different things. It doesn't have to be horrible because we have a supportive community. And don't be veterans that have this program that are there to support you and uplift you and to get you over that finish line 100%. I'm with you 100% of the way. Okay, so enough of my rant. I'm really sorry, but I wanted to motivate you to make, I want you to celebrate that there is no fad that will ever, ever be this quick fix solution. And you know that. You know it. I want you to make this recipe. I want you to tag me when you make the recipe. Let me know what you thought. If you make any changes to it, let me know. I'm going to post everything we did here at carryburrows.com and you're going to click recipe and it's all going to come up. Give me an hour or so to get that all done. Um, but head over there to carryburrows.com. Leave me a comment. Tag me on social media when you make this. I want to know what you thought. I'm telling you, your kids will love this. Your husband will love this. Your wife will love this. This is a great thing to take to a party. This is great party food. Questions? Yeah, I'm sure can. <laughs> Sorry. Gross. But guys, here's the thing. We did those, the chia, the hemp, the, the faux oatmeal uh, in the jar, the overnight oats. Why wouldn't you have this as well? Because we're putting protein in. Add a little bit more protein. This is a great breakfast option to take, grab and go. Portion controlled. Portion controlled. Trust me though, dial back. You don't need the sugar. Fruit is sugar. So we all know that, yes? Give me some likes, fruit is sugar. Okay, I'm going to the alt. <laughs> We're gonna make blueberry crisp the next time. I love it. That's one of my favorites. We're gonna do it with a live audience. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna have the taste testing audience ready to go. All right, guys, I really appreciate Okay, girls, come here. You can try this. Where's my fork? There you go. Here's your fork. Okay. If this is this is kiddo approved, yes? Yeah, see? Right? Am I right? I use the oats. Yeah. Okay, share the podcast. Inspire somebody. Look, they're eating the apples. There you go. Inspire somebody to look at their health a little bit differently overnight. Oh, sorry. Um, I really, I really, really appreciate your time. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate your support. We are starting a new session this coming Monday for my Breakthrough Academy. You get your meal plans every week. 
You get your daily workouts with yours truly. You get into support. You get an email from me every day. Plus, you have our online fit friend community. So there are no excuses why you can't do this program. So if you register and join up today, you'll get your meal plans. You'll get everything so that you can start fresh on Monday, meaning you get into your kitchen and clean out the cupboards, OK? If you have questions, please leave me a comment. Send me an email. Remember to head over to carryburrows.com. Head over to mybreakthroughacademy.com. Go look at some of our testimonials. They're amazing. We have real, real people with real results that are doing this. You know, Amy has five kids. People are working like crazy. This is, this is a realistic program, you guys. It's nothing that you are going to be struggling with. It's nothing that you're going to feel deprived with. Your kids are going to love it. You're going to teach them healthy habits. You know, if you have a spouse that might be struggling with their weight, you're going to get everybody on board. Did you clean that whole jar? Did you eat it all? Really? OK. All right. So again, head over to My Breakthrough Academy. Go look at those testimonials. Go look at these real people and their real results. Head over to carryburrows.com. Go click the recipe. Let me know. Tag me if you have any questions. Share this broadcast. Give me some likes. If you have anything else, please let me know. I'm taking requests. What are we doing on our next Cooking with Carrie episode? Let me know. I'm up for the challenge. Cheesecake. No, no cheesecake. Blueberry results. Uh, with blueberry results. We're going to whip the nene. No. Okay. All right. Thanks so much. I love you. Head over to my Breakthrough Academy and CarrieBurrows.com.